or video tutorials by Andrew Brackle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use layers and transform layers to create some interesting combinations of designs. Now, just got an image here that I've just created using a, lots and lots of layers, and I've added sort of some text in there and blended it. Anyway, what I can do is just a layer. Just go over here to layers, and you can see the layer there. And what you can do, you can just quickly go over to layer and duplicate layer. So when you actually duplicate, you suddenly you notice you've got two copies there. And I'm just going to go there, make certain you select it there, and go to layer and transform layer. You can also do it over down here as well in the tools. There's an option there. And what you can do then, you can actually resize it. You can also move it around. You can obviously change it in different positions. So you can use it just to fill the sort of design. And you can also rotate. Just rotate that around as well if you wish. You can see it's got, you can just see the layer behind as well. So once you've actually done that, click OK. Right, now, and you see over here you've got two layers. What I want to do is select both of those and then go to Layer and Merge Layer. So they're all merged. So you've now got the whole image there. Now what you can do, you can just go to maybe Smudge and you can actually then just smudge the design like that, drag the paint off in different directions and maybe use the watercolour brush. I'm just going to quickly go and select the watercolour brush there. Add some more red. Maybe add some more text and much more. You can also obviously use tilt. And now, once you've actually got that, you can again use the layers. Just go over here, you've got the layers there. You can just go to layer and duplicate layer again. And straight away, you can see you've had, just added that there. You can go there, select that one and then go to transform. Again, let's say you go down here or you can just go up to layer there. So just like that, and then you can move that around. And you can see what happens, unfortunately, if you do it. So you obviously get this edge. You might not want that edge, and you can also so you just resize it that way. You can do it within limit. I'm certain there's limits to how far it can go before it really starts looking a mess. But <laughs> actually, I think it looks pretty messed there anyway. I've been doing this for a couple of uh, run-throughs of the trials, and I've just been adding and adding and adding. And it's just ended up a bit more of a... Okay. Now, once you've actually done that, key thing, click OK. And then it's combined. So what you can do, you can just quickly... Well, it's, it's just got that layer, it's been transformed, I should say. So and then you can use Lighten. You can use Blending Modes, maybe Difference. Maybe not. Exclusion, and so on, so on. Screen. That's quite nice. Okay, so once you've actually done that again, what you can do, you can then select both those and then just go to layer and merge layers. And then that's it, you've just got a single layer. And again, you can then just go. Now you don't have to just use what's there already to transform and create a duplicate. What you can do, you can just go to layer and you create a new layer. So now I'm just actually applying this on a completely new layer with nothing on it. So just going to go for some red, so maybe let's just make a, an A. Right, so you've got that, that letter there, just blended there. Now, just see it diffusing just at this point. What I can do now is actually just go over here to the, it's a layer, so I can just go transform and then move that around, resize it a bit. I can okay, move that down there, I can blend that, move that around, rotate that. And now click OK and select both of those and blend them. But what I want to do is I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to go keep that selected and just use the layer and duplicate. Now you can see I've obviously got another A. So I can then go to there to transform and move that around and maybe make the A down there. Now, unfortunately, there's no like shadow effects. I always double click. That does no good. It's no good at all. The key thing is here. Double click. Obviously, it's Photoshop and other things that do that. But this, you've actually just got to just click that OK down the bottom. Now, got that. What you can do then select all of those and again layer and merge layers. So they're all merged now. And then, of course, you can then continue to use oh, smudge just to smudge and change the letter and blend the paint 
so on and so on. And again, of course, you can use all the other standard tools that come with. Just go up here and just apply that and then make them all sort of start to smear and smudge into each other by wetting the layer. And okay, that's it. At this point, I've finished. So uh, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. And please come and check out the Graphic Extras channel. I'm always adding new videos every couple of uh, days. And also the graphicextras.com website. Thank you much.